everyone, it's Sammy from Sammy's Sweet Life and today I've got a grocery haul for you guys. I'm gonna film it a little bit differently because we went to the grocery store without a real plan for what we're gonna make. So I'm going to plan our meals around what I just purchased and make it work for the week. So I'll have the meal plan at the end of this video. We went to Trader Joe's and Sprouts and all together I spent about $85, just a little under that. So I think I did great. Got a lot of fresh stuff to get us through the week. And so my bags are over here. This one's actually um, for the food drive. They're doing the they're doing the food drive through the mail, so we just set that by the mailbox. Um, but the other bags are our food, so I'm gonna go ahead and unload and show you guys. So this is our Sprouts haul here. I had already picked up the stuff from Trader Joe's and on the way home we hit up Sprouts, so we had to go in really quick. I basically just grabbed fruit because I knew I wanted the cherries and the strawberries. And I also picked up a French bread for Johnny. He really loves French bread, so that's just a good treat for him. And this is for the food drive here. So um, they had nectarines, they just looked really good. Blueberries were on sale. We got some more of the black grapes. They were really, really good. Um, then we got the cherries, this is the first these are the first cherries of the season, but I'm super excited about having cherries. Olivia and I both love those. So I will probably be getting those every week now until they um, stop having them. And then also two things of strawberries. They looked really, really good this week. These were also on sale and they just looked really good. So I went ahead and picked up two, some green apples for snacking. Um, a cantaloupe, it was on sale. I think it was 98 cents. So right here is my Trader Joe's stuff. I went ahead and got two big potatoes for baking. And then these will be for hash browns and whatever. I also got some bananas back there two bags of the baby carrots. I got a rice cauliflower. Everybody's been talking about this. I've seen some videos on how to make things with this. I thought I would just do um, fried rice with it um, and see how it turned out. It's just it's just one of those things that seems really neat, so we're going to give it a try. I got Olivia some um, raisins, some plantains, and then some pumpkin seeds for Johnny and I to snack on. And then here is all of our sweet treat snacks. Um, Johnny takes a granola bar for lunch every day as his sweet treat, and so I picked up these ones. These are mildly healthy compared to the other ones, and the sugar in this is 8 grams, so not too bad for that. And then these are for me to have a sweet treat here and there. I didn't think these ones were that bad either. 11 grams of sugar for one of these, so it's definitely a dessert for me. And then these ones are gonna be for Olivia Chia Bars. They've got almonds, cranberries, and pumpkin seeds. She loves nuts and seeds, and um, I'm sure she'll like the cranberries too, but I was surprised these ones only had four grams of sugar in a bar. They are gonna be smaller, but I think she'll really like those. And then these are a special treat for Olivia, and so they're just the apple, apple cereal bars. Um, I, I love these, so I didn't get me any <laughs> because they are really, really high in sugar. So those are just extra special treats for everybody there. And then we've got some black bean pasta to try out, some red lentil pasta to try out, um, some chopped spinach, some waffles for Olivia's breakfasts. I think these were seven grams in two waffles. Yeah, seven grams in two waffles. Olivia will eat one of those for a breakfast. Um, I'll also make her scrambled eggs. We've got two yogurts left and then we're done with the yogurt like I talked about in my uh, recent video. Um, so we'll have those for some breakfast. I got a California roll for my lunch for today and then some naan and some orange chicken just for whenever. This will just be a fun thing to have for dinner one night and that'll be a good little side for something. And that was everything I got so I'm gonna go ahead and plan out my meals for the week and I'll show you guys that. Here is a look at our meal plan for the week. We are going to do copycat Chick-fil-A chicken nuggets or chicken tenders. I have some chicken breasts that I can use for that. We've done this before and I will just freeze whatever's left of that so we can have it for a future meal. We really love the um, copycat Chick-fil-A recipe. Then with that we'll just do corn and broccoli. Then I'm going to try out the cauliflower fried rice with veggies. I just throw in a bunch of veggies with that. And then we'll have leftovers one night. Then we'll do veggies with baked potatoes. And to go along with that, Johnny and Olivia will have chicken. Then I'm gonna do black bean pasta with veggies and shredded chicken. I've got plenty of shredded chicken in the freezer I can use for that. And then we'll do leftovers if we have any left over that night. Or we'll pull out salmon and have some stir fry with that. We'll just use up whatever veggies are left for the week. So that is six meals. If there is extra leftovers, that'll make a seventh meal or we'll go get takeout one of the days. And so down here I wrote lentil soup and freezer meals. And I also have black beans that I can use. I didn't end up making those yet this week. And also this is a Carrie L meal planner. 
I have a referral coupon. I think it entitles you to 10% off in the description box. And I also have a walkthrough video talking about the planner. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.